Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the fourth case in our series, What's the Most Likely Diagnosis? Today, we have a patient who presents with jaundice and has abdominal pain that started four hours ago. We find out that the level of direct bilirubin is high in this patient. Pause this video and let me know in the comments what you think the most likely diagnosis is. So in this question, we're supposed to focus on two major things. One is jaundice and the other one is abdominal pain. So jaundice is caused whenever the level of bilirubin is high. Now bilirubin is of two types, direct bilirubin and indirect bilirubin. Let's first focus on indirect bilirubin. Red blood cells get broken down in the spleen. Here, the heme part of red blood cells gets converted to indirect bilirubin. Indirect bilirubin then goes to the liver and gets converted to direct bilirubin. This process of converting indirect bilirubin to direct bilirubin is known as conjugation. If a patient has high levels of indirect bilirubin, it's either due to excessive hemolysis or insufficient conjugation. We'll speak about all that in a separate video. But in this case, our patient has high levels of direct bilirubin. So let's find out what are the potential causes. To understand this, let's quickly go through the anatomy. These are the hepatic ducts, this is the cystic duct, this is the pancreatic duct and they come together to form the common bile duct. As we saw earlier, direct bilirubin is formed in the liver, so it travels from there and goes into the gallbladder. It is stored and concentrated in the gallbladder and ultimately empties into the cystic duct and goes into the common bile duct. Secretions from the pancreas flow through the pancreatic duct and come into the common bile duct. Both direct bilirubin and pancreatic secretions flow through the common bile duct into the intestine. So the levels of direct bilirubin can be high if there is an obstruction in any of these places. So since our patient has jaundice, acute abdominal pain and also high levels of direct bilirubin, the most likely diagnosis is cholesterol gallstones. If the gallstone is present in the gallbladder or the cystic duct, it's called cholelithiasis and if it is present in the common bile duct, it is called cholelithiasis. An increase in direct bilirubin can also be caused by a tumour in the head of the pancreas. However, our patient is less likely to have a tumour because in such cases there may not be any pain and in case of malignancy, the patient may also experience weight loss plus the presentation would be more chronic. So taking all this into consideration, cholesterol gallstones is the most likely diagnosis. If you want to see more cases like this, please hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. If you want to solve more questions on this topic, take a look at this video. And in case you've missed the previous cases, don't forget to check this video out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.